Let's try this again. I lost connection for some odd reason. Talking about observations of last night's game. The Texans versus Panthers. I wanted to see Deshaun Watson. Uh, first time I'm actually playing an NFL game here. But I'll start off with the first observations I noticed. The first one's obvious. Tom Savage started off slow. The first couple drives, he barely completed anything. There was a third down pass to Lamar Miller where he could have kept the drive going, but he overthrew it. He did look calm and collective in the pocket while things are flying around. He, he kept his eyes downfield and would make the throws. Not surprising, I've seen him do that in college, I've seen him do it against the Jaguars last year. He just has that poise in the pocket, which I like. Not a lot of people have, but after that slow start, he looked pretty good on his third drive, going 8 for 8, but that's not the most impressive thing there. There was three penalties that happened on that drive, but it didn't stall him, it kept going. There was a false start. By Kendall Lamb when they moved him to left tackle because the corner came in to blitz and it kind of got him the jump where he wanted to jump out there to get that corner because he's obviously faster. But then there's a couple of really bonehead penalties where the guys blocking to ta tackle the player. First was Prosh on a nice run. Alfred Blue picked up almost 10 yards. But the guy that Prosh is blocking broke off to tackle Blue. And Prosh decided to grab him by the hip from behind and tackle him. Obvious holding. And it, it seemed like a bonehead play that shouldn't have been happening. But not only that, an offensive lineman did something similar. Guy Comey, later on, on another play that picked up 10 plus yards for Blue, Guy Comey didn't even have to do this. He knocked the guy off his feet. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the pushed him there. to the yeah, left of the really line where them, right? Lou was going to the right and Sleep as the guy was going down and Guy Comey was and going down because he put all his weight into him he decides to grab his leg around the calf area to make sure he wasn't going to go anywhere which excuse me went for holding because he grabbed him uh, I thought he's a vet. He shouldn't have been doing that, even in a preseason game. Maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt uh, about it. When that ball's out, and speaking of those runs, there was also runs that weren't called for holding that Blue had that were pretty good. Where he had Instead, patience and vision and he just went fumble, through the hole. Relief, huh? yeah, Especially on the 18-yard run for a touchdown for the first score for Houston. That was nice showed that he didn't want to lose his job to Deontay Let's Foreman. Has up its it shows that uh, he got some fire in him. I noticed the, the starting the D and the, and the backups look different. Like the starting right D looked really line. chill. That's gonna go as a you know, they didn't want to get hurt. They didn't want to do anything down. too fancy. They didn't the just right let things there. happen, but they weren't playing yeah, hard for. Which makes sense. It was a, a nice play. Really that Benjamin had perfect throw to the back shoulder. He's so tall that Jonathan Joseph couldn't break it up and he went for a touchdown. Usually you don't see Joseph give up plays like that, but it's preseason. And uh, sometimes those things happen. Uh, but the backups on defense, they look like they wanted to play a little, a little fired up. I thought number 32 there, I can't remember his name at the top of my head here, he played pretty well, except he had a couple of penalties, a hand to the face that I didn't see, and another penalty was pass interference, but he seemed to be playing that coverage on the sideline pretty well. It was a play where uh, Curtis Drummond came flying in to try to help break up the pass, and ended up getting smushed by number 32, but he ended up being all right. Uh, I thought uh, Pratt, number 58, was going to have a good game, but uh, he just had that one good play. Pretty much as soon as he came in, he just weaved between some guys who didn't know who was going to block him and jumped up in the quarterback's face to bat the ball back down at him. But after that, uh, he didn't have anything too exciting about him. There's a couple times they... The whole defense was able to get after 
Webb, but uh, Webb kept escaping. They weren't able to contain him. Watson on his first drive looked pretty good. Looked pretty calm. Like he wasn't worried about the rush. He kept his eyes downfield, move around, made some good throws. But he made an overthrow to the tight end there, 81. And that seemed to be something he did consistently. I don't know anything more than about around 20 yards or so. His accuracy was really bad. Inside the 20 yards, he was throwing darts, perfect passes, hitting people right in the numbers, right in stride. It was pretty good. But then after that, his throws, there was times where I couldn't tell if he was overthrowing the intermediate guy or underthrowing the deep guy. It was like two or three passes like that happened in the first half and second half. I thought maybe he just needed to get the jitters down. And then he'd calm down, but uh, it seemed to be consistent. Something he definitely needs to work on. But he did seem pretty good in the pocket. Moving out when he had to because the offensive line wasn't blocking all too well. And he kept his eyes downfield most of the time. Made good decisions. I didn't see any bad decisions. Like he would throw it away. Or make a completion. Unless the guy dropped it. There's a couple times he made some good plays, but there'd be penalties. Such as Dres Anderson stepped out of bounds on a nice play on third down. So the catch didn't count. But uh, he looked pretty good trying to look downfield and get the ball downfield. In the second half, he did have a, an awesome 15-yard yard run where he just got to the end zone before anybody could get to him. Show his quick feet there. Really, really well. Well conceived, well designed. Uh, there was a lot of penalties, but you expect that in the first piece of the season game. Not used to seeing that with the Texans. They're pretty disciplined, but those ball starts holding, uh, defensive holding, pass interference, all kinds of penalties. And on the Panthers too. There's just a lot of penalties. You really do, but he is so good. Deontay Foreman looked good. His first run, he carried a few people for a few yards. There was a play that I think there's a bad so far, spot. It was a third successful. and one, and he bounced it outside on a design play to the outside, and he lowered his shoulder and pushed the guy past the first down. It looked there. like he this got the ball well the past the first down the before he went out of bounds, but he did not get the spot. The Later on, on a fourth and one, he and pushed the pile for two right yards here, to get the first down. Uh, another thing I noticed was number 21 there, Robert Nelson Jr., number 21 now, taking A.J. Boye's number. Wasn't looking anything like Boye. Uh, he got burned bad by, I think, a bird for a touchdown in the first half, and then he got beat again where he was pretty close in the coverage, but he gave up another touchdown at the end. Uh, which pretty much sealed the deal for the Panthers there. They won the game 27-17. And he'll get only a couple up to the preseason. Now that can't uh, matter too much. Uh, there's a couple times the Texans were sad that I know Sweden took a few hits, but the star uh, Savage and Watson didn't, didn't really take too much hits, except for short sacked Savage, and it looked like he could have just stepped away from that, but he looked like as soon as he got tapped on the back that he just dove forward, almost went into the knee, the side of the knee of... Um, Martin, which I thought looked bad, but Martin's a tough guy, they didn't bother him. The other sack that I noticed was when Watson actually slipped, the guy came flying off the edge, the tackle tried to get him out of the way. And he backed up to dodge him. It looked like he dodged him, but I think he tripped over the tackle who fell over trying to push 
the rusher out of the way. He knows how to make some of those subtle moves. He looked pretty good moving around the there. Game and he did it right there. He's an athlete back in high school. Uh, played football, basketball, track, so he's a mobile There was a play that I have here nice not the so now at the end of it because there's a forced fumble by number 22, Denzel Rice, and number 51. Now they'll switch Dylan it up here and look to throw. Right picked it up and brought it to the house, but then oh they decided no catch, so it wasn't a fumble. And here we go, Braxton Miller with a touchdown here. That would have been nice if that happened in a real game. Let me go over my notes real quick again. Good pass, clean catch, and a house call there on the fly route. And not that much room to operate. So that tells you about his acceleration. Like the, we always talk about being able to go from zero Watson to sixty. Watson would make his fast. best throws on third Took down. Less time than that to get the top speed right and complete that play. All in all, I think they looked all right. Their run defense looked pretty Extra good. Pass coverage, come. on the other hand, did not look so good. And the Texans take a seven okay. nothing lead. Could do a lot One better there. In the books, seven nothing uh, is our score. We're back. The to short Uptown intermediate, Charlotte. the After coverage was all right, out. but it's what plagued him against the Patriots. This presentation Last of the year NFL with the on EA Sports. Back here with deep throw, Davis, especially with Corey Moore going. against We've the Patriots there. The first quarter, that's the only thing uh, Brady could plead, just throw it up, and we'll see one they catch, the kept getting lucky. Final play before break. And it seems like the same thing was happening during the preseason game. Granted, uh, it wasn't happening to starters. Marcus Gilchrist, the safety they just picked up, wasn't playing. I'm hoping that he can no cap that off, and that won't happen so much anymore. And uh, this will be taken in at the one. I thought Savage looked good. It didn't start off so good. But they did line. a pretty impressive job once they got going there, and even with the penalties now against them, the the especially with Dwayne Brown That's not in. No I noticed the, the interior line blocked pretty well on pass out. protection. It was the edges that had right an issue. I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge uh, of the Julian Davenport you know, looked all right at playing well, left tackle. For a rookie out of the fourth round the there. Like, right, not playing at top competition in his division. He an looked pretty good. But, uh... They come out here in the eye. Yeah, those are my observations. Well, I'm pretty sure you can check out the... And game today, sometime the on uh, NFL Rewind, on NFL Network, even if you don't have Sunday ticket three. or whatnot, they usually show the preseason games again during the, the week sometime. If you wanted to check that out, or if, unless you record it, you can check it out, see the observations you saw. I know off the, the bat, Watt and Clowney didn't play much, but there was a play on a run where the run went like... 10 plus yards, and both of them were the ones that chased down the running back 10, 15 yards down the field, and were both in on the tackle. I thought that was pretty nuts. Uh, shows that they, they're fired up, and they had great pursuit, great hustle. A lot of people could learn from that. If everybody hustled like that, it could be like the... The rest of the year, uh, the Tampa defense back when uh, Dungey was there. Late in the season, he went 18 yards, they just swarmed yards, on people. Yards. That's just not what you expect from him in the but, Panthers. Uh, not at all. I don't think it's all his fault. But they don't have to be like that. They did good last year. They can just build off of that. I think Kevin Johnson will be able to replace AJ Boye. I think he's a better talent. He just needs a little bit more experience. And then we have J.J. Watt back, which adds to the pass rush, which will also help out the coverage. Gilchrist should replace Demps. So we should do pretty good here. Our run game should be better. Lamar Miller getting some better rest between Blue and Foreman. Hunt looks so pretty good out here where he couldn't get anything catching the ball. Now you face a third Didn't get to see a lot of Tyler Irvin. I heard a lot of good things right. about him. I, I wanted to see so how he played, but uh, really Hunt looked pretty good out there. The there catching no the ball, making go. some moves. So we got a nice mix in the backfield to help out Savage there. 
there was a few times where Savage was looking down the field and it looked like no one was open. I couldn't tell if he was just holding the ball too long, he was being indecisive, but there's just nobody open. And he would just have to dump it off, throw it away, run for a yard. But uh, all in all, I think it's all right for the first game. Let's see how they do against the Patriots Saturday here after a joint practice with the Patriots. It should be beneficial to both teams, the joint practice and whatnot. I was uh, just a little nervous when you get a joint practice with the Patriots because they learn very quickly, they pick you apart, and they attack any little weakness. As we saw in that divisional game last year, the only weak spot was back at the safety, and that's where they attacked. They couldn't 